whether it's taking away your favorite beachfront bar or exposing your home directly to the ocean's fury. Beach erosion is a problem that's only getting worse. Beach erosion happens when water carries away sand, rocks, and soil along the beach. Strong wave action and coastal flooding all contribute to beach erosion. Over time, the intense wave energy comes up to the shoreline. It takes the sand on the beach, pulls it back into the ocean, and spreads it all over, changing the shape of the shore. Sometimes the wrath of a passing hurricane or nor'easter will gulp down massive amounts of beach, like it did in Wildwood with Hurricane Jose in 2016, or what happened a few years later, in October of 2019, as a powerful nor'easter created feet-high cliffs along the shores of Avalon. Nor'easters and tropical systems all work under the backdrop of sea level rise, which increases the amount of erosion. To maintain the shape of the beaches and to protect infrastructure, the federal government spends an average of $150 million each year on beach replenishment. This involves dredging, removing sand from the bottom of the seafloor, and putting it back on the dry land. Since 1880, there's been over 8 inches of sea level rise worldwide. And between 2000 to 2100, we're expecting an additional 3 feet. That means more beach erosion and more beach replenishment. For the Press of Atlantic City, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci.